Good morning, all. This is uh, Pastor April Wilson from God's Way uh, Apostolic Cathedral, a non-denominational ministry. We're here this morning talking about encouraging women on how to have a successful marriage, successful relationship, um, how to build and support our husbands. Now, when, when God first designed men in the book of Genesis, he knew that men needed something and someone besides the animals to sustain, to sustain the world. He knew that that wasn't quite going to be enough uh, when he finished uh, with creating the animals. Uh, he discovered after Adam had named all of them that Adam didn't have anyone to help him. So he placed him to sleep, as the Bible said in the book of Genesis, and took out the rib, and voila, here comes Eve to help him. Now God said in Genesis 2 and 18, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now that's the key word, suitable for him. Now that means that there's something that we as women, we're not just automatically suitable for our mate. No, there are specific things that we need to do, we need to hone, we need to work on to be suitable for our mate. Now in our relationship, in our marriage, there are two things that we can do. Now either we can tear the man of God down, tear our husband down, or build him up. That's it. But it wasn't God's design, his plan for us to live in a divisive relationship, but a, a harmonious one. Well, that takes some work in order for us to gain that type of unity that God was calling for and is calling for. Well, you say, well, I do love my husband. I do. So what, what can I do to help build my husband up? Well, the, the primary thing, we'll, we'll just say, read the scripture that God has here in Colossians 3 and 18, the NIV version. It said, wives, us, submit yourselves to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. Now, in the Greek uh, 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 definition, which is one of the, the languages in which the Bible was written. It means to, so the word submit means to surrender. Yes, surrender to obey. That means even if you don't agree, even if you don't see eye to eye on a particular point, on a particular plan, on a particular vision, the Bible said it's your job to surrender. To obey what your husband is saying. That even means if the pastor of your church comes to you and say, uh, Sister A, Pastor A, Mother A, Mother April, I want you to do thus and so. And you speak it, speak it, uh, go over it with your husband. He said, you know what, I don't think it's such a good idea, whatever. And he disagrees and he says not to do it. Well, women, we have to submit to what our husbands are saying. We have to obey whether we agree with it or not. So that's what the Bible said that we must do. We, it's not an option. We have to submit ourselves to our husbands as it is fitting in the Lord. Now, if your husband is telling you to do something that's outside the confines of the word of God, in that case, we're not obligated to obey him. But as long as he's lining up with the word of God, as long as he's being led by God, then we are to submit and to obey what he is asking us to do. So that's one thing, submission. What other things can we do to build him up, build our marriage up, to make it strong and fortify? Well, First and foremost, we need to fast and pray for our men. The Lord knows that there's so many issues, struggles, uh, distractions out there in the world. You have the police that are killing our, our black men, our husbands, our sons, our whomever. So we need to fast and pray that God will keep them strengthened. In this world, he's our covering. Our husband is our covering. So we need him to be as spiritually robust as possible. We need him strong because he's helping to cover us. 
Number two, what else can we do to keep our relationship strong and to keep the man of God strong? Well, one thing is you shouldn't hang out with single, single women on a regular basis. Well, why do you say that, Pastor A? Well, because number one, a, a single woman's mindset is not the same or shouldn't be as a woman's, married woman's mindset. A single woman doesn't have the same obligations that you do as a married woman. A single woman's mindset is, hey, let's go hang out all day long. I, I, well, what do I have to go? I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have anything to do. Well, you do. So you can't hang out and do what you want to do when you're married. So it's not a good idea to, to like I said, be in that type of environment where you're going to have those um, conflicting emotions or conflicting ideology with single women. So don't make it a habit to hang out with those that are not married. And certainly don't take advice from them on how to run your household. How is someone single going to tell me how I'm supposed to dress my husband? They don't have one. Haven't been through anything that I have been through. So please, how are you going to advise me? Well, they can, but they're going to ill advise you because they haven't been there and done that. They don't have that experience like the wise women of the Bible that he tells us we're supposed to go to for advice. They don't have that. So don't make it a habit to ask them, single women, on how to run your household. The Bible tells us we're supposed to go to the old women. And they're supposed to teach us how to love our husbands and how to raise our children. Also, don't discuss the private details of what's going on in your bedroom with other people. What goes on in your bedroom is for your husband and your eyes only, for your discussion only. Let it stay at your bedroom door. Don't do it. Please don't do it because what you're doing is you're inviting those other spirits into your home. You're inviting other people into your bedroom. And it's not a good idea because that could attract others that have the wrong spirit to go after your husband. So keep it private. Keep it in your bedroom. And also if you have a, a disagreement with your spouse, don't tell other women. Don't tell other people. Don't go crying to other women on the phone. Well, my husband did this. My husband did that. My husband made me mad. We're not getting along. As the wise women of the church used to tell us, while you're saying scat, cat, those other women in the back of their mind are saying, they're saying kitty, kitty to your husband. In other words, they're going to come and try to tear you all apart because they know that's an uh, opportune time for the enemy to slip in when you all are not unified. So keep your personal business, your, your disagreements to yourself. Other things that you need to do real quickly. Women, keep a clean household. There shouldn't come a time where a man is working all day long, comes in, he can't have to get through the door because why? You got junk on the floor, junk in the, everywhere. Keep a clean house, have a hot meal on the stove for your husband, and, 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 and just try to keep ourselves maintained as much as we can. All right, so we can do this, women. We can help bid our men, men up. We want to have a successful marriage. I've been married for 23 years. Thank the Lord. And, and, and I've learned a lot of things, a lot of things down through the years. Again, you may not agree with everything, but it's your place to obey. It's your place to submit. It's your, your place to build your men up. Uh, and remember one thing. We don't want to be our mate's kryptonite. But we want to be his what? His shining light. We want to help, 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 assist, 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 not only in the home, but to build him up in the ministry of God. Why? Because we can draw others through our attitude, through our behavior, or we can draw them away through our, our, our bad temperament or bad behavior. All righty. We hope the words that we said, just a few nuggets of wisdom. We hope we help help somebody out there. Uh, it, that's listening uh, to the words this morning. All righty. Well, God bless you. Again, this is Pastor April Wilson from God's Way Apostolic signing out. Remember that love is the key and try God's way because if you do, I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. God bless and we love you and you have a blessed day in Jesus. Let's say you finish, right? Sit, stop. Are you sure you want to end your broadcast? Yes.